I guess it's a lazy Saturday. I have been so anxious to just get out of the house lately and all I want to do is travel. Okay, I had to put the camera on a stable surface because for some reason my hand would just not stay still today. Anyways, back to traveling. It's something that I want to do so bad. I really want to get out of the house and I want to travel. And I've been talking about it on Twitter and in my live shows a lot about how bad I want to travel and how I'm just going to drop everything and go to London even if I have to go by myself. And then right when I'm like about to do it and I've done all the research and I'm like, do I really want to go by myself or do I want to wait till a friend can come with me? And I've talked to a few people about going and one person said that she can go in November. And I'm just, I'm so anxious to get, I'm so anxious to go, but I'm worried that I won't have fun if I go by myself. I mean, I know if I went by myself, I'd be forced to make the best of the situation and get out there and meet people, which would be really cool because that's not something that I would normally do. So I would be getting out of my comfort zone in so many different ways by traveling by myself and then meeting new people. So like that aspect of it is very appealing. But on the other hand, it's just very scary. It's a very scary experience, especially being a girl traveling by yourself. I mean, girls travel alone all the time and it can be dangerous, but you can make it safer as long as you don't go to areas where you shouldn't go and you surround yourself with people you trust and, and stuff like that. And I mean, I know there's still places and times where accidents can happen, but you know, as long as you do what you're comfortable with and you make it safe for yourself, there's less of a chance that you'll get yourself in trouble. Earlier this week, I went to Barnes & Noble and I picked up Rick Steves Europe Through the Back Door and I could not put it down. I read it for six hours straight and then the next day I finally finished it. It just gives you tips for traveling through Europe, points out some of the good places to go, good places to stay, and I really liked the book. And in the book, he places a major importance on really experiencing the cultures of the places you go and not, you know, going to Paris or England or anywhere really and staying in a very Americanized hotel. He says that you'll appreciate your trip much more if you stay in like a bed and breakfast or like a locally owned place. And I really liked that. I thought that was a good tip that I wouldn't have thought of normally. Anyways, this isn't an ad for his book or anything. I just really liked it and it got me a lot more excited about traveling. And he also talks about how when you go, you should only bring on one carry-on bag. And when I went to Spain, Phil and I brought these huge suitcases and I really only wore not even half of the clothes that were in there. So. When I do travel, I need to be able to bring everything in one bag uh, that I can just carry on, not have to check my luggage or anything. And that's gonna take a lot of practice, but um, buying clothes that you know you can wash in your sink in your hotel room and that can dry really quickly overnight and don't wrinkle. That'll take some getting used to, but it's something that I'm really excited to learn. So I think if I do travel alone, or even if I do go with a friend, the first place I wanna go is London. I know this reason sounds stupid, but it's because they speak English and because I've been there before. When I went there, I was like 13, so it was a while ago. I think it's a good place for me to start um, and get used to traveling by myself and I am terrible at reading maps I'm terrible at learning uh, like the transportation maps and stuff like that so in these Rick Steves books and online I've printed out like all these maps of the cities the maps of the bus routes the maps of the um, the train routes everything so that I can familiarize myself with those before I go but I am by no means an expert traveler so I think when I go I want to vlog everything I want to show you guys everything about it you guys can learn from my experience and my mistakes and I think it would just be really fun you know I don't want it to be like a typical travel show setup I want it to be like you guys are coming with me like, you know, vlog style like this, just kind of showing you guys my experience. Now, I don't know when this is gonna happen. I'm hoping it will happen very, very soon, but I don't wanna say, hey, um, I promise you guys, I'm gonna go travel and do all of this and blah, 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 because then, for some reason, it won't happen and then I'll feel bad like I've let you guys down. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm trying to do this. I don't know if it will happen, but I have my fingers crossed that I'll get the balls to do it. I'll get the balls to go travel by myself if I have to. And for like women and girls out there, have you guys traveled alone before? And like, what was your experience? What would you recommend um, for somebody who's traveling by themselves or even two girls traveling together in a foreign country? I'm just so anxious and I just really want to get out and I really want to experience the world. And I feel like now is a great time to do it. And I have my camera and I have you guys to show all of my experiences too. Why not? And for those of you guys out there who have traveled before or have some of your favorite destinations, let me know because right now I just want to do the typical thing, like go backpack through Europe. But what are some other places that you guys would recommend? I want to know some places like off the beaten path. Oh, and I really want to go on a safari, which would be, oh my gosh, I would love that. I, you know, I don't think I would want to go on a safari by myself though. I definitely want to go with someone else. Part of me wants to just buy a ticket, not do any research and just go. But I'm the kind of person who needs to have a plan, at least a little bit of a plan and know what's going on because otherwise I'll have like a panic attack, which would not be good. I don't really know what the point of this video was, but I guess it was just kind of to tell you that I want to travel and any of your tips about places to go, traveling by yourself, um, any of your favorite travel gear, let me know because I really want to do this and it's super exciting. I hope you'll be interested in this. If you're not, I'm sorry, but I think it'll be really cool and a really, really fun thing. So um, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now and I'm going to go edit this video and post it so that I can get started planning.